everyone uh, this is ASM Arif welcoming you in my new tutorial today uh, I'm gonna show you how to remove the background uh, from this image like that I'm going to uh, open and this image It'll, uh, it will take time okay fine uh, this image I will change the background the white wall and I will replace here the another image is this forest okay now let's go to this image I'll make another copy by pressing ctrl J and I'll take a paint tool to cut the image like that from here I'm cutting okay I'm done the selection I'm pressing the make selection press ok and then I'll go to select option and uh, press and hold the shift key and press select and mask I'll mask this area which is not selected in proper way or properly then it will take time if your PC configuration is low my PC configuration is not so high then it's taking time it could be more faster than me if your uh, PC configuration is high no worries uh, I'll do that okay then here is some here which is in front of the face and uh, we will just get back if you press those things ok and this area also okay mm, I will click over there new layer with the layer mask and press ok what happened those are gone but uh, this area I uh, will remove this area manually mm, selecting the paint tool and select this area like that be careful when you are selecting the area with the paint tool it's too much easy mm, I'll show you I'm showing you already um, how to select this thing and uh, I made another tutorial which is about the paint tool you could see that tutorial for learning how to operate the paint tool and you also select for you know, the quick selection tool or the magnetic laser tool or lasso tool whatever uh, selection uh, in of Adobe Photoshop there are many kinds of selection tool for the users and you can use one of them okay I'm selecting this one press the right button and now Mm, select the select and mask and the feather ratio or radius is zero and hit ok and now go to this mask when you are selecting this mask and it will have to be in the white the foreground color and press delete it will delete this area and now the critical area it's not actually critical the sensitive <laughs> you think that uh, when you just re I mean, reduce all the areas and uh, this area is not selected or reduced I mean, uh, or matched with the background it could be the whole thing okay then I'm going to the mix selection and press ok and same 
Let me select the delete button and now this area also. When you are operating the pen tool, be concentrated on your design or the picture, otherwise, it could be in the bad thing ever. Okay. then this in this area very good I'm selecting the legs okay go to the make selection and press ok the selected area is uh, just uh, dotted or blink and press delete our selection is done now we'll go to this thing or we can take a new the full HD uh, we'll take the full HD ratio which is 1920 and the 1080 our resolution 8, uh, 300 and the color is ash that is the code is o e o e o okay hit okay and create okay good very good and now we'll drag and drop this photo to this blank layer and i'll press ctrl t and press press ctrl o for adjustment or full screen okay then press and hold the shift key and drag and just adjust the size and hit the tick button press O for full screen okay then I'll just drag and drop this photo here ctrl T for adjustment ctrl O for full window and full area and then I'll reduce the and press ok here is some uh, white area is it yes here is some uh, white border we have to press ctrl T and ok that's good it's adjust with the background you know that okay then I'll give the blurry effect in the background then I'll go to the filter and the blur gallery and select the tile shift blur okay it will take also take time and I will change in the ratio or mode which is here okay that's very good mm, okay the blurry area which not one be the blurry area I have to select this one and I'll increase the blur or decrease the blur like that I will just give the minimum blur over there and the light I will increase the light for the the light bokeh or bokeh whatever you can tell okay then hit ok is the image of the main image and this one was the background and now I am just created this type of image okay that's good and this one is the creativity of a photographer or the mm, photoshop artist a visual artist you can tell it okay uh, I'll give some shadow and lights extra lights over there and I will finish this tutorial okay then uh, let's go let's take a group con by pressing ctrl G and ctrl alter E for merge the layers 
and then I'm going to the filter camera raw filter for adjusting the color and other lights and everything and I'll add some warm tone over there and that means the temperature I'll increase the temperature and I'll reduce the tint exposure some exposure 0.10 in the contrast 0.345 or oh, whatever you can like okay, highlight I will reduce the highlight I don't like highlight in an image because of uh, when you give the extra highlight in, in your image it could be more mm, the flashy uh, this is not a art of a picture okay mm, uh, taste uh, could be different and uh, it's your choice okay I'll give some shadow on the whiteness and then I reduce the blackish and blacks it will give the glow of your image okay then clarity plus 3 variance 3 and the saturation minus 3 I don't like the saturated photo okay now you can use uh, the saturated photo then I will give some amount of sharpening then luminance I'll give some luminance for the noise and then I'll give the vignette on the light okay like eh, 12 12 is enough for that okay then finally I'll go to the grayscale or HSL that means hue saturation and luminance and the hue at first I'll go to the saturation and reduce some saturation of a green and then luminance green luminance will be reduced and then the red orange I will increase the orange and the saturation of orange I will reduce and it could be the uh, white color of the screen and I will give some minus 3 of uh, hue okay mm, there is no major change but little bit change I will show you okay then I will press ok this is the change of previous and the recent image ok I will turn off this this one I will add some extra light for this feature you know that um, in this screen um, the light uh, coming from here then I will give extra light over here ok I will go to the brush tool and pick the white color that is if okay then I'll hardness 0% the size 72 pixel and I'll press over there and opacity and flow uh, could be 100 must be 100 okay and pressing ctrl T for increase the area okay I'm giving extra light if you add the extra light then uh, it could be more realistic that the uh, light is coming from this side okay I'm adjusting this one and I'll add another flare place embedded I have some the light collection I'm taking light from here and hit ok and it's the skin mode blending mode skin okay. I think this is um, far better than the previous this one is the previous and now this one is the present image okay I'll add some the dust which is the dust okay I have some dust mm, brush or dust PSD brushes and here is the 504 mm, I created this brush for my users you can use or you can create it own and I I already shown this type of technique in my previous videos which is the wedding photographs videos and I have already given um, the link um, below the video description okay thank you and uh, I took a brush and I took extra or new blank layer and then selected the white color and I will brush here oh sorry the brush size is so big I'm decreasing the brush size by pressing the uh, third bracket opening. Okay, some brushes are nice. Dust, you can tell it. That means in a forest, you could see the 
dust over there. Mm, uh, that's not a neat and clean environment. You know that. Okay, it could be the more natural thing in your audience or in your picture. I'm making another group and merging this one and I'll go to the Nick collection filter which is the color effects pro I'll add some color effects pro effect and then what will happen yeah, color effects pro is um, the heavy software and it will take time to load and we are waiting for that okay thank you for the waiting and I'll add warm tone or some tone which is very realistic yes I think this one is good okay hit okay a simple change good. simple change and then I'll add some color lookup now my favorite color lookup is horror blue yes the horror blue let is the feel okay and then I'll add some color or uh, gradient map which is the blue one I'll change the blue yes cyan cyan and orange mixture orange gradient and I'll give it to the soft light and then the 5% I'll give it only 5% very good and now I will be making a group and merging this one by pressing ctrl alter E ctrl alter shift E okay our editing is finished this one is the previous one and now and the previous this image and I merge or composite in this background and now this one thanks for watching my tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and do comment on my video description section and it's your channel you know that any kind of information any kind of query any kind of question feel free to ask me thank you so much thank you and don't forget to subscribe share and like it's more important if you want to get any kind of new tutorial over there thank you so much